thank you for joining us this lovely Sunday afternoon. Is that all you got? <laughs> that's, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's all I... Welcome to the Power Chamber podcast. Not to uh, be confused with uh, Julio's podcast, and yes, I will uh, have to put that disclaimer in there so that people don't get confused. Yeah. Julio's uh, Power Chamber podcast. This is I, not that. This I apologize. Not, that's all right. <laughs> I didn't know that that name had already been taken. I, I, didn't I can't know. imagine that it, why yeah. it wouldn't have been, but I, I, I don't know. That's your poor research abilities. Research? Man, oh. Google didn't work for him this time, okay? okay? Yeah. Yeah. You can't blame Google. You okay, know. first of all, Google is so 2009. What is Fuck it? you, what? I still use Chrome <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I do too. You got a problem with okay. Google? Okay, alrighty. Well, okay, well, everybody's I bet obviously... next you're going to tell me Internet Explorer is good. It's hey, not. You know it's what? actually when really you awful. Play... Yeah, no, it's not good. Um... <laughs> Okay, well, everybody seems to be foaming at the mouth due to episode five, so... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and open with that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Who wants God. to start off? Which one of you wants to start off, I should say? I, I'll start right, off fight being... Fight to the death. I'll start off. Go. I'll start it off, because I, I didn't fully see the episode, but... Oh, you've got the review, so... Yeah. Like, you know, we'll, yeah. We'll have, I'm sure you've got... I don't know how many hundreds of views by now. So. I have no idea, yeah. Yes. Uploaded I did love that, though. Morning, like Last night? I, I uploaded it, like, yesterday morning. Okay. Yeah, early so history check it out, day. Iron Bat 1993 yeah. at youtube.com slash Iron Bat 1993 slash pa- Power Rangers Dino Charge episode 5 slash review. I don't know. It was a good try. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> good, good try. <laughs> Dot com. I, uh, <laughs> uh, all right, go ahead. What, what um, were you saying about episode 5? What is it even called? Uh, the Breaking Black. Breaking Black. Which, as soon My, as I heard that, I thought this is in some way... There was a racist joke in here. No, I I, 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 honestly, like I, I, when, when I, I guess when if I, you're from New Zealand, it when, was racist. When I saw that episode title, the first thing that I was thinking, I was like, "Huh, this is weird Breaking Breaking Bad reference." Yeah. Okay, why not? I, and then what? Whatever. I, mean, I honestly would have made have that joke. Yeah, I completely. I, oh, by the way, we'll get to that because I completely okay. finished the show. I, um, I've gotten okay. I I think I stopped around season three or four. No. Nah, yeah, but bad. like, if the episode had been. Uh, good. I would. I would have opened with that in the review, but it, it's, okay. It's, when I first watched this, yeah. when I got through the first half, the first half actually looked pretty cool. I mean, it looked like, oh, great, we're actually going to get something for this character that we haven't gotten yet. Yeah, we're going to get a past and find out what about him, and he'll learn something in the end, like and... we did with the last four people we did this with. <laughs> well, I don't think we've done it with Riley yet. This was really disappointing to me. This I, episode. I, I mean, yeah. No, basically, I what I you. learned about this episode is he's just a dick. <laughs> I don't like Chase. I didn't like him when I saw him, though. I didn't mind Chase, and th- this episode, I, I don't hate Chase because I, I really like the the actor. I think he does a good job with what he's given. I just don't think he's given that much to do. You know, I think I think this what this was. It, it's it was a bad script. It was I a think bad that's script. It, it was, yeah. The, the the three people writing on this and nobody could keep a track of what was going on in the story. Yeah. yeah and I, you know what? I uh, bet that's I what think... happened. Because you, you pinpointed a moment in the episode where you were like, and everything goes downhill from here. And yeah. I was like, okay, well, what if, like, the first, however many minutes were written by the first writer, <coughs> and then the second writer, and then the third writer. Well, if you look at it, it's like he switches personalities, like... As he gets, the episode goes on. He's not a likable character by by any means. No, well, I mean, but he ain't he ain't Miss Morgan. That's I mean, true. That's true. I don't hate him like I hate her, uh, but which is surprisingly because she's I was had actually, two good episodes for one. Uh, when I when I saw Chase in the first episode, like I, I was really annoyed because he he has that one line. He says, you know, let's just cut to the chase, and I thought that was gonna be like a running gag, you I know, like with Antonio me. and the stupid gold standard stuff that they threw at us in Samurai. Oh my god! But they did. They never brought that up again, which I was really happy with. So I was like okay with Chase's character, and then this happens, and like. They all right. Mm. I okay. I, I mean, get like, why you just like Chase? I I am, don't dislike actually, Chase. Okay, I'm, it's I'm it's actually, not that we dislike would... him. It's just that for what this character could have brought for character development, like we've had for the other like past like three four people. Yeah, four. three. There. I'm I'm not counting Riley. You're not counting Riley. No, he hasn't gotten that. He hasn't had an episode yet. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's somewhat, but not true. I'll, I'll give that. I'll give you that one then. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. I and I would like to go ahead and go say on record that Coda has a terrible direction right now. Okay. 
like I, props to Yoshi. I like the way the character is written, uh-huh. and I like everything that he does. Yeah, I, but you can't. He doesn't sound like a cave person. Yeah, he sounds like a Japanese person who can't speak English all that well. Yeah, it's that's not true. good. I, that 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 is that that's a good point and something we brought up last week. Um, but I I really do like the, uh, Yoshi as that character because if you pay attention to stuff that character does, that could really go a, a different route. Uh, that could be a really unlikable character if it's somebody else that's in that true. role. Because look at the last uh, couple episodes that we had. I mean, the first episode, he stole food from uh, Shelby and just started eating it randomly. Yeah, and still ended up likable in that scenario. And then in this one, he's like making he's uh, tricking when uh, he spit Chase. food at people. I didn't like. Yeah, him that when, when he spit he spit food at people in the second episode, and then. In the in the, in this episode, he okay. tricks Chase into cleaning the floor. So I, I think that like if it was somebody else, that would be a very unlikable character. And um, so props to enough, that guy, I guess. But I mean, this episode, I mean, it, it's like, oh, this is a dedicated cha- episode to Chase. But in the end, it was really a dedicated episode to uh, Shelby. Shelby, yeah. And, uh, oh man, I feel bad and she for not get, knowing her name. She gets no credit. Wow. I was so pissed when I heard that line. Like, when I when I first saw this episode, I was, like, really disappointed. Because I, 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 I couldn't figure out why. Because I watched it, and I, it didn't really hit me that this was a bad episode. I was just really disappointed that the characterization of Chase wasn't as well done as the other Rangers. Uh, See, but, I, didn't, I, I didn't hate this episode as much as I hated episode two. And episode two is just terrible. It's no, I I, I disagree with awful. you on that. Like I I, I, I think, can't I can't decide which one I really hate the most. You you can't hate on it because it's got everything that the first episode didn't have. And yeah, you've got the full team morphing sequence. Yeah, you got a uh, your pretty much yeah. Of the oh yeah, we get this episode. The, we get the whole uh, the whole com, no bringing up the weapons to make the powerful. Super weapon, and yeah. they get a w- new weapon every freaking episode. It's really hey time well, constraints. Yeah, you yeah, gotta... time constraints with uh, with uh, right, but... Saban and Nickelodeon. That's that's what they have to do to, in order to keep the pace moving. I get, I get that, but I mean, you can't have like two episodes of just team fighting. I mean, you you have to introduce three different Megazords. Three, yeah, two, three, <laughs> three, three, three. Yeah. and uh, we still haven't seen that. Tricerapara. I'm assuming that's going to happen. Tricerapara. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, because uh, in the in the opening you see uh, yeah yeah you see the combination, but we haven't gotten it. By the way, oh. her name is uh, Cam Camille Camille, Camille Hayden 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 whatever. I think it's Hayden. Hayden. Camille Hayden. Camille, Camille Hayden. Who plays Shelby? And props so her, good. man. Like she's a really likable character. And I, I don't agree. think the show knows it. No, they don't. They're they're not aware. <laughs> they try to I make think... her. I think they try to make her annoying. Yeah. Well, well, they try to make her seem like she doesn't know what she's doing. Like she's way in way. She's in way over her head. Right. But it doesn't feel like that at all. No, no. She's, she's very. She's obviously the smartest one in that whole yeah. entire group. She's very proactive. Yeah. It literally feels like uh, the show is just bullying her, bullying at her at this point. Yeah, I mean, it's because it, she's the black one. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, that's, she's the black one. and that's really hard to say. <laughs> but I mean, because you had Miss Morgan who was on her, and then wow, and yeah, then and, yeah. and th- that dialogue, dude. Yeah, and then just oh. no credit for this episode at all. Like, yeah. hey, thanks for throwing me the skateboard to help me focus on my balance so I can stay in control. Or no, whatever. no, it was, it was all the Black Ranger. He did it all himself, and I'm just yeah. like. He completely figured it out on his own with no help from anyone. Ever. <laughs> I'm just God. like, I'm like, I, I just like, I know what they're trying to write this character as, but it's yeah. not working. It's not yet. working because it's it's really inconsistent with what's happening. And it's weird because uh, Power Rangers, again, this is, a, this is another plot line that they've done in the past where like a ranger gets uh, brainwashed into doing something they don't want to do. Oh, yeah. It's been done with uh, Billy. Mm-hmm. And it's been done with Robo Knight, and it's been done with uh, Kira from Dino Thunder. Yep. This episode screwed that up by not having us focus on Chase all that much. It kind of happened with Tommy. It really pissed me off because, like, he we get we get told that he disappeared off screen. I know yeah. that was weird. We don't even get to see that happen. I was like, wait, what? Like, I mean, because the I, command center, I, 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 I would assume, it. I would command center, I would assume would have, like. At least some wall of defense. Yeah. Something, but 
I, not only that, but Spellbinder is, you know, he's obviously got some magic of his own. If he was using, like, black magic, like Juju, but they don't know where the command like New Zealand, well, like, that, Mordor shit, and I'm so pissed at you well, for oh, not yeah. putting that joke in Okay, there. Hold, hold on, but uh, before we get to that, uh, you, well, yeah, he wanted me to, because okay. there's a point in the episode where she's, like, talking, to, where the Moana. fortune teller's talk, talking about the pendant, and she's like, yeah, this was born, this was uh, formed in the darkest part of New Zealand. And I was, I was like, like, in and... the fires of Mount Doom, in the land of Mordor. <laughs> yeah, and I wanted to put that joke in there, because I, I really liked it, but... We had a clip, like, literally right before that to show how incompetent the script is. So I was I just like, when it. I heard the darkest part of New Zealand, I'm like, that downtown? And I'm like, well, what are we talking about here? We're talking about Mordor. <laughs> We're obviously talking about Mordor. <laughs> I was just uh, like, that, that's like the worst piece of dialogue I think I've heard ever. Well, <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. I, I just, mean, sci-fi at least tries to, you know, be like, from the darkest plates of the depths of hell, and, you know... When they talk about something, no, they just straight up said a town, man, like a whole yeah. city, and it's just it's like... a, it's an island, <laughs> an country, island. yeah, whatever. New Zealand, I don't know. Oh, it's an island. Okay, yeah. um, but the episode isn't all bad. I, I like a lot of, the, I like all the stuff with uh, Master Sledge and this. I don't know why you're assuming we have the internet at our disposal, <laughs> asshole. Assuming what? <laughs> What New Zealand is, instead of just typing it into your Google. Man, we're supposed to at least act like we're smart. 2009. <laughs> we're supposed to at least act like we're smart, okay? Anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, uh, to the, the barometer is falling rapidly, and we might just see some showers by this afternoon. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you. I apologize. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's, that's probably going in the outtakes. Anyway, <laughs> um... Oh yeah, no, I that better be kept in. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, I liked all the stuff with Master Sledge. I've realized something. I realized something watching this episode. Without Poisandra, that guy is really menacing. Yeah, the, it's the Lord Zed effect. Yeah, like he's really hardcore and just badass and evil. But like, when he, with Poisandra in there, it just kind of makes the whole thing look like a joke. I was correct. Hmm. There's an island. Hmm. I am smarter than you both. Yeah, but I was wondering if it was like a country or city or a town. Yeah, I didn't. It's I didn't. definitely not a town. It's okay. a country. Anyway, but yeah. So and Mordor is right. I just here in the town of Ashburnton. I don't know. Ashburnton. I just it, Aston it, Martin. God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Continue, Nick. Sorry. Sorry, Nick. It's okay. I, <laughs> I didn't mean to bother you to to butt in. What yeah. were you talking about? <laughs> but I, I just think the episode is... It, is that what you think? It falls flat. <laughs> God. Anyway, uh, I just think this episode falls flat in, in the character department, especially considering what we've, what we've had before. And especially following my favorite episode of the oh, season. God, yeah. I really hate that that, that, that <laughs> had to happen. That, that as soon as I'm like, wow, this was really good. I'm really looking forward. It just immediately died. Oh, bombs. yeah. Honestly, you need to cut that out. <laughs> honestly, like, this episode, it, it it's not as bad as Last Laugh, but it did almost get me as angry just talking about it. I mean, I, I didn't feel as angry towards it because the first half was actually somewhat good. And which yeah. in Last Laugh, you knew immediately how bad this episode was yeah, going to get. Yeah, that, that, that's true. And I mean, it just, as soon as Laugh Laugh started, it just kept going down and yeah. down. And but it did get me almost as angry as Last Laugh, just because of how really poor, like, they, we really tried to drive home the point, yeah, oh, Chase showed us how he can really focus, yay, Chase is a good person, character. And he could do better Char now. Character development has happened when it hasn't. It, it's, like, it's, like, it's like they're trying to pull a wool over your eyes. Ooh! Yeah. I feel like we are missing an episode from Shelby, so I'm going to go ahead and say that Tyler and Coda... Have gotten really, really good. Well yeah, I, I'll agree with you on that. And Riley, but see, the thing is, but I still, Shelby. but I still got a sense of who those people were. Like with uh, with Riley's introduction, I understood. Oh, this is a guy who's just bored with see, his but life. See, the thing and is with Shelby. Happen. Well, the thing is with Shelby. She may not have a character devoted episode yet, but almost every episode, she at least has something to show who she is. Almost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's true. I. I can unlike agree. the Red Ranger, which is unusual, you know. That is weird. Um, I feel like Shelby's sort of the unofficial leader of the group. I don't think so, man. Really? I think uh, she's granted, more of like I think she's more of like the voice of reason. Uh, in a, in a, in a, not, like in a way that she, Are you sure that human Zane isn't 
just the the voice of reason. Human Zane. Because I'm pretty sure it's he just... is. Uh, he is kind of the well. He's more of a. I don't know. I, I honestly can't get a hand, handle on his character yet because we haven't gotten a, like a full, right. We full haven't gotten a full episode, episode. But he we, seems we got, like that guy. Yeah, we just kind of got background information, and also he can fight with a sword, which is awesome. I agree. I actually really want what I really want I to mean, happen. She works hard. If, so, I mean, I I really like Shelby and everything that she does. Yeah, uh, I. <laughs> I can't wait for her first, you know, character focus yeah, full episode. Character focus episode. I swear to God, like, they're just trying Ranger. to go to that route where they're just going to make her look like crap. Yeah, I just hope so. it's convincing. I, I, I would really hate it if it was just like I, the first like five or ten minutes is just Miss Morgan laying into her yeah. for absolutely no reason. Yeah, that's what, exactly what I was going to say. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's what's going to happen. That she's going to drop an end bomb. Oh, just, <laughs> have you? Did you watch that? Like, have you been watching like Black Nerd talking about these episodes? Uh, no, it's really hilarious. He's, he's he was talking. He's like, did you see, did you see what happened when uh, Miss Mor- uh, when Shelby tried to call Miss Morgan uh, Kendall and she gave him that look? Mm-mm. <laughs> Twelve years of Pink Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I saw that movie. In fact, in the first ep- in the second episode, he's like, oh, a waitress, huh? I guess because a waitress can't be a power. I saw that. Talking episode. about other people talking about being. Uh, what's the matter of what Shelby being a waitress? <laughs> 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 it's really funny. I saw man. that one. That's uh, terrible. <laughs> yeah, I thought That's, that was hilarious. That is pretty. He funny. had no opinion on this episode, by the way. I watched his video. He literally was like recap, and then what do you guys think? And I was like. It, I, I don't it's, think I don't think he wanted no. to really get into it. <laughs> oh man, and Curio's there because. I honestly have no idea why. Because Poisandra's not there. And? And they want They sh- have two generals. You have Wretch and Fury, who we both know can kill people. Fury can kill is people. also missing from this episode. No, he was not. there. No, was he, he was there? there. He was on the ship. Yeah, yeah he's on the ship in the background. I have no idea. <laughs> he didn't have any lines, but he was there in the background, it looked like. Yeah. he, was, he No, he was holding... Uh, he was the one... He It was him and Wretch who were carrying Spellbinder away when Sledge was like, lock him up. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention to that, but he, he's there. So, Nobody so was I, paying attention. So I find it also funny that... Um, I think, all right, that, I think this is our first filler episode. Like, this yeah, is the episode that you kind of watch and then glance true. over. Um, I don't know. That That's true. That, that That's what makes this bad. That was That's what makes this worse for me uh, in, in when compared to episode two, because it's just a bad filler episode, whereas episode two is what I would classify as a necessary episode. It's not okay. good, but you need it in order to move the story forward. Okay, yeah. fine. I will accept that answer. But, um... Oh, Crow, I was going somewhere with this. The filler episodes. I don't understand... What? The filler episodes. Like, <laughs> like, uh, like, like you can't... Basically, yeah. Okay. Like, any filler episodes in general for Power Rangers? Or... Yeah. yeah. Like, filler episodes in the 90s kind of made sense with the sort of, like, PSA feel. Well, some, well, sometimes they really work. Like, uh, I think uh, Noah's first character-focused episode was a... Right, but w- then there are seasons episodes. that really, really work. Yeah. You know, that you, you have a filler episode that you don't know is a filler episode. Like, Jungle Fury. Yeah. You've got, like, I don't know how... Uh, is it, like, 11 or 12... I think it's 13 solid episodes at the beginning uh, that don't have any filler episodes. I don't know. Through Ghost of a Chance. I'd have to rewatch that, yeah. honestly, because I, I don't... Well, I they, they do like have shades of being filler episodes, like with... Uh, well, I mean, Last Laugh, in its own right, is a filler episode. Yeah, Last Laugh is, is, a, is a terrible filler episode. Okay. And sometimes they do good things with them, and sometimes they don't do things like... Um, Trying to think, like I think a Spirit of the Tigers is a filler episode. Uh, it's not; it, it just is. A Spirit of the Tiger. Yeah, for Super Mega Force. Oh, oh, oh yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. I agree, um, and I think that's why those episodes are missing from from Super Mega Force. Why? Is because they had too much story and not enough filler. And well, that's need, not true. And you can't... I don't understand why you can't do both, is my thing. Like, why can't you put incorporate the story with the Rangers that... If you're gonna have them on set... You, so, sometimes they well, Let me it. ask you this... Let me ask you this as a question. Yo. Let's put all three Lord, uh, Lord of the Ring movies into one giant movie for everybody to just sit down and watch. Okay. Would you sit down, dude? I have <laughs> in a theater with the Blu-ray edition, so extra hour per film. 
Not, not, I'm not talking about where you're at home, comfortable, and you. No, you're at a movie theater and you're sitting your ass down. You're not gonna want to sit there the entire movie when it just when it just come out. You're gonna want to get up and go take a break. Well, no, no, I, no, I think I, think, I would want to sit there if it's like at the Alamo Draft House and I can order food while I'm in the theater. <laughs> I think I'd be fine. Well, I, I think what he's saying is that like you can incorporate story and still have like a one of those like take home messages of you know teamwork is important and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I think that this episode tries to do that with the whole thing at the end with the Sledge being like, oh, I'll keep this pendant, it's really important. Yeah, the foreshadowing Mortal Kombat 9 moment. <laughs> okay, sure, you have to stop comparing everything to Mortal Kombat 9. It's not my fault that that game just completely ruined Days of Future Past for me. It's okay. It's the plot, Tim, Mortal Kombat 9. It's okay. No, it's not okay. <laughs> that movie it can't be considered good. What? <laughs> I don't. Um, I don't like Jennifer Lawrence though. So there's, yeah, there's, there's that. I I do agree. I do think she was better in that movie though. She's uh, then, uh, uh, when, I, I, when compared I, I, to, be fine if did she anybody didn't have see to talk. Uh, honest trailers for uh, uh, Hunger Games: Mockingjay Part Two? No, or part I didn't. One? I didn't. Well, partly because I haven't seen that movie. Then again, I did read the book, so I I'd watch it. I didn't even read the book. Way. To be perfectly honest, yeah, uh, I didn't he, care. <laughs> He's boycotting this series because they're doing an extra film. Yeah, they didn't need it. They no, really didn't need it. they never need it. They never need it. Harry Potter needed it. Harry Potter did need it. I didn't read the, the eighth book. But, yeah, but uh, I did watch all seven. I mean, book. but see, there's here, only seven of them. Here's, here's the difference. Son of a bitch! You see the problem here. <laughs> here's the difference between Harry Potter and the Hunger Games. Hunger Games, a 300 page book. Harry Potter, fucking 900, 900 pages. pages. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I read books. most of the books. I just, I got to five, and Professor Umbridge was such a just a cunt bag. I threw the book across the room and never looked at it again. I got about halfway through. <laughs> I got to the, to the I, I got to the moment where Phil's just hanging up just a shit ton of new regulations. Hmm. Did you read the books? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about then. Yeah. Okay. I know. Don't, don't look ridiculous. at me like I'm fucking crazy. But that's the point. You're supposed to hate the character. I know, but there's a there's a limit. Yeah, like there's, Stephen there's... King writes characters that you hate. There's a limit, yeah. I agree with that. Same same thing with Ms. Morgan. I don't think we're supposed to hate her, but she is a real terrible person. <laughs> she is a real terrible uh, person. I uh, hate but, her, and I, I now want her to be our sixth ranger. But but I agree. Oh, she's going to be. She's not going to be our sixth ranger. There's going to be one more before her, I yeah, think. Yeah, there's, uh, there's... I think. And I honestly, I want there to be an episode where, like, I'm okay with her before that happens. Okay. Because right now, she's just, like, she's really Well, I mean, we got at me. least In two... Fact, we got two episodes where she's not a complete bitch. If we do have... If we do ever get, like, a full-on Shelby-focused episode, I would like to have that scene of Shelby being like, why are you always on my back all the time? Yeah. You know and, it's not gonna happen. Oh, come on. You With know this it's show, not. it has to happen. It's not gonna happen. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm, willing, to put, I'm willing, willing to put money that that will not happen. I, 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 re- I want it to happen, man. I, I will... I have so I'm much faith in this show that that can happen. Um... How certain are you? Oh, I'm like almost 90% sure. How certain are you? I'm about 95. 95, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to find out a way to make this interesting. You know what? Uh, we should just like do like some sort of bet and whoever's yes. right. And we just we get a video camera, we'll film it, and then we'll have enjoyment <laughs> for people that will actually And you know listen. what? I'll decide the stakes. Okay, okay, sure. I will decide the stakes for the winner and the loser. I just and like put them in an envelope. I, I feel like that, I that agree. That, that that has to happen though. So it's official, we just shook on it. We're, yeah, we're all shaking on it. <laughs> our our wieners. I just think that, that that conversation has to happen before I'm down with that character. I'm certain that that conversation will not happen, but I'm sure that really? they will get it. She will get a character development I, episode. I'm actually, I don't know, like because I, I, I would, I would when I when I if I if I had only seen episode one, I would give this show credit for having the ability to do that. Yeah, but because I saw episode two and then episode five, that that's he, true. He does got to get the sea legs. That's, 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 that's I'm a point. little bit skeptical, but the out of five episodes, three have been good and two have been bad. That's still yeah. a passing grade. That is still yeah. a passing grade. That's pretty good for Power Rangers. Alright, so this is our also, uh, mid-season finale episode. Just, for, it's not... It's, um, or but, our but, mid-season for the mid-season before the hiatus before Super Dino Charge. Yeah, I think it's just going to be called Super Charge. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't be as wordy. No. Um, but 
But so, like, I I would like for if they if they really want to go the jealousy route with uh, Miss Morgan, I I would like her to be more like uh, Cam from Ninja Storm. I mean, it could it could work. I it, mean, I mean, if if she's I gonna be a ranger, I, I would like that to happen. <laughs> What did, what did that, you... that literally had nothing to do with what we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Nick? It doesn't have to, okay? Uh, Camille is the best written character. Nah. That's... See, there are a lot of really good written characters <laughs> in that show. You cannot... I, I don't think you can just pinpoint it to only Camille. Because I really like Lily. No, I like all of them except for Dominic, too. Yeah, but <laughs> goddamn oh, Dominic. Dominic. So to switch off, Chase the is the Dominic of this show. Chase is the Dominic of this show. <laughs> he doesn't do anything that makes any sense. And he's completely superfluous, and he's awesome. also an idiot. Yeah. So to switch off this topic, what yeah. have we all seen in trailers today? Anybody seen anything recently? I have not. Me neither. I heard Dragula Untold was really good. I, as I told that too. As did me. I I. I do I was certain see? that movie was going to be bad, and then I'd have yeah. people like, no, it's good, and I'm like... Yeah, I'm not going to... I'm still not going to watch it, because I don't think I can ever take the Bat Fist f- seriously in a movie. Mm. Oh, okay, So we, we've talked about Poltergeist, haven't we? Yeah, we, we have. did talk about Poltergeist. Yeah. Yeah. I will... I am going to watch that movie. Sam Rockwell does an amazing job in movies. Uh, uh, most of the time. No, he still does really well, even if it's a shitty movie. Oh, I know! Even we, in Iron Man 2! I liked him. He was annoying as shit in that He's movie. He's supposed to be. I don't know, man. Really? I really did. Really? That. Speaking of Iron Man, we I know we something we haven't talked about. No. Avengers Age no. of Ultron. All right. We're not <laughs> going to no talk way. about it cuz I didn't watch the trailer. Neither did me. <laughs> I will talk about the first one cuz I saw the first one. I didn't, so shut the hell up. Nick. Okay. Shush. All right. We have Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver and we have Ultron and apparently for some reason they're working together. That's, that's And we've also got Vision. Well, Vision, I, there's no trailer with Vision in there. What do you there's, mean? Uh, you didn't see the movie poster? No, I'm not going to look up anything. I'm not going to look up anything for Age of Ultron. I want to be. I want to you go in knowing the trailer. Nothing. You watched the second trailer, but you didn't. Nope, didn't watch the second trailer. I watched the first trailer. Yeah, I only watched the first one. But what do you I, mean they're working together for some reason? They freaking they're Scarlet Evil. Witch and Quicksilver brainwashed or something at this point. I don't know. I That's don't what, know. That was at the end of uh, a Winter Soldier. Yeah. You don't know if they're brainwashed. They are. They were using the mind they're jam captive. on the freaking no, no, You don't know nothing. That's a... Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? I'm done with this conversation. You're obviously digging with me, so let's move on. Right, so, uh, but no. here we go. I have a problem. So, okay, so moving off of Age of Ultron to another Marvel movie, Big Hero 6. Big Hero 6, which Nate had seen, and he said that it wasn't that good. I saw it. He, I... said, he said it's because it... It feels too much like Iron Giant, and so he feels like he's seen this movie before. Also, he was able to predict exactly what was going to happen at a certain point. Yeah. It's incredibly predictable, but it's, uh... But it's fun. No. I think it's fun. It's depressing. See, no, I don't it's feel the same way. It's, it's fun. I think it's fun. I mean, after you get past I think it's part. marketable. I think it's incredibly marketable. And, uh... Yeah. Well, just because... Evident by stories. how freaking... Fast it spread like wildfire. Did you see like the t-shirts and the no, freaking... No, I didn't. you haven't seen any of no. this stuff. It's everywhere, man. I must everywhere. not be going places. What do they I'm call gonna, the I'm gonna let you. Bar- I'm gonna let you borrow. What do they call the robot? Oh, Baymax. Baymax. Yeah. Well, I knew when I saw the trailer that that guy was gonna be big. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna let you borrow. Is it supposed movie. to be funny? You think you're funny? What is it? Is that supposed to be funny? Oh, yeah. You think you're funny? <laughs> <laughs> I, that was a joke I just made. Oh, yeah? Intentionally. You know what, Nick? You're not <laughs> fast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like, because when that movie came out, I, I didn't really have a drive to see it. When I saw the trailer, I was like, well, this seems like a Disney movie that just superheroes. I, I kept it's look- definitely like the Iron Giant meets uh, The Incredibles. When I first saw it, the trailer, I was like, I wasn't interested, and then I saw like a second trailer, and I'm like, I'm actually probably gonna go see this. Yeah, but like absolutely no desire. In like, I saw the mini movie, and that was all I needed. In like comparison to the the like other Marvel films, I think this one was like the lowest on my radar. That's why I didn't see it. (laughs) Well, I mean, I literally I don't have a desire to watch it. Stan Lee is in the movie. Well, obviously, at the very end. Okay, but he's in it, is yeah. the thing. And they animate, they got a Disney animated Stan Lee. 
Didn't they put him in the Phineas and Ferb crossover? Yes. Yeah, they did. So, and yeah, they also he... put him in uh, uh, Ultimate but, Spider-Man. No, it's, it's Disney 3D animation. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's like, if Carl was Stan Lee... <laughs> From up. That's pretty so funny. I know. I, so oh, I'm just okay. Assuming, so you guys. So you said, Carl. You said Carl. I immediately went to um, from Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. Why? <laughs> because you said computer animated and Carl, and I did that's the first thing that popped into my head. <laughs> did you go with Llamas and Llamas? No, and no, no, no. Did you you went with, with the... Jimmy Neutron. Okay. Yeah. Boy genius. Uh, that's that's Rob Paulson. Not actually played by a boy. That's Rob Paulson. Uh, if, who plays Carl? Yeah, I know. That's hilarious. <laughs> You've seen him do interviews where he's just like singing the pan song. It's hilarious. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, going off of folding and hanging. Going off of Big Hero Six, uh, Frozen Two. Oh God, was no. a thing that was announced. Which oh yeah, that's right. Obviously, of course, this was going to happen. So yeah. as as before, you go on with that. I actually went and saw Cinderella this past week. Are you free? Uh, really? Yeah. Okay. First of all, it's out. <laughs> yes. Who plays yeah. Cinderella? Um. Some sure. a blonde chick. Some blonde chick. Wow, know. you guys, you saw the movie. I don't know the actors' names. I, I didn't, Nick, I didn't even watch the trailer. Nick, on that he's one. terrible. I do. We need another one. <laughs> Look, I don't research anything work. about it. All don't right? worry, we'll record one with Nate later. All right. Um, because he wants to record one. Yeah, dude. Uh, but uh, but Kate up... Blanchett is the evil stepmother. Oh. And also, Helen Bon Bonham Carter is the fairy godmother. Why? <laughs> I <don't. laughs> Lily James is who's the one who played Cinderella. Lily James, and also yes. some actor from Game of Thrones plays the prince. Yes, nobody cares. Yeah. Oh. I, or I should say I don't care. I haven't seen it. I okay. I yeah. recently had conversations with people who say that the books are good, and oh. I need to call Leanna. But, or send her a picture of my penis. So, Why is that? Because she owes me books, <laughs> and I figure that'll be the fastest way to get them. <laughs> just uh, okay, fine. Okay. Just but, send um, her a penis, so, and it doesn't have to be mine. So, so you know, Cinderella had that uh, at the beginning of the movie. It has that uh, Frozen Forever thing in there. What? Yeah. Did you oh, not? what is Frozen Forever? Is it's, that the name of the sequel? No. Okay. So at the beginning, at, if you go and see the Cinderella movie, you know how uh, Big Hero 6 has that short movie at the beginning? Yeah. They have one for Frozen at the beginning of Cinderella called Frozen Forever. Why? It's... <laughs> what happened? They literally, they literally had the trailer that was a mini-movie. Did they skate around? With... Okay. Literally, it's all about Anna's birthday, and apparently Elsa is sick, and she's called trying to give her the Frozen best. Forever. <laughs> What? Yeah. Called Frozen Forever. And so, like, what? They, there's this whole big song about her birthday, and they're giving her the best birthday ever. And... That doesn't... Those two things don't go together. <laughs> don't ask questions. This is just what it is. Don't ask questions. <laughs> you just buy it and go see the movie. <laughs> that's, that's like... This is, like, people... Like, literally, their decision was this. You know, how are we going to convince people to see Cinderella when there's been, I don't know... 30 adaptations of it. You know what? Let's add Frozen in there because you know everybody's up for Frozen right now. That's Nobody is That's up actually for a good idea. <laughs> Honestly, like, I gave up on all these live action movies when I found out that Dumbo was a thing, and we'll get back to that. Yeah. Uh, but, but um, as for the movie, before. I heard it was really good. I'm going to do a review on it, but um, as for the movie. Oh, you're going to review it? I'm going to review can't it. can't wait. I, I heard it was good. Okay. It's not bad. It's still almost an exact replica of the original movie. Okay. Small changes. The prince and Cinderella actually meet before the whole big dance thing okay. and everything like that. So they meet actually a couple times before. Okay, that. so as long as you meet them twice, it's fine. It could apparently they have sex. <laughs> apparently. Just just I'm just trying to get it right here, Disney. I mean, uh, they whatever, they think it's okay, you yeah, know. Yeah. Whatever they they said they did the whole thing. Oh, <laughs> Pull it out on the second date. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. And then, uh, uh, her names, of course, Ella, and then the stepsisters give her the name Cinder. Ella. Ella. Yeah. Well, that's that's what? her name from the book, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, I I wasn't because I wasn't aware of that. I thought that was like that's the, why the, the, Ella trend. Enchanted is a thing. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Yeah. yeah. So and so that's why. So they kept that, and then they kept. So they called her they kept, Cinderella. Well, because she when she had to clean the cinders, when okay. she had to, she had to sometimes 
Sleep by the fireplace, yada yada and yada. She, yeah, she had cinders on. Okay, that's then. that's what the that's what the um, scene in Into the Woods is when she's like with the lentils in the pot. Mm. Oh, okay. They had they kept... that's that's why is because that's why yeah. she's Here's called something Cinderella. That, Hi, mean, Nick. Pay attention. Did not watch read the a book either. one time, Nick. <laughs> just once. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, there, <laughs> <Sorry>. is, <laughs> there, there, there is something I really appreciated about this movie. They kept the cat Lucifer in there. Oh, good. And, uh, you mean Lucifer? Yes, Lucifer. E- evil cat. And then they kept Gus Gus and all of them. Hooray, Gus Gus. Oh, man. She can, she can, I she, might actually go see that movie for she, Gus Gus. <laughs> Gus Gus is a pretty... Then again, I'm not going to pay money on that. He's a pretty balling character. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to so, lie. So she can still talk to the uh, to the animals, but they can't talk back. They, all it is like... That's all you oh. hear. Oh, so it's like uh, the Ever- Enchanted. Oh, man, I love that movie. <laughs> It's I, actually really good. I only watched that movie the one time. Do you want to see it? Actually, I I, I might have only watched. So it twice. I wasn't the only one who actually like kind of liked that movie. Oh. No. Okay, oh. thank God. I, 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 I thought means. it was. I thought it was good. Okay, cause uh, see, I it's d- one of my favorite films. That's is weird. How good it it is. was weird when I because I saw it and I was just like, I don't know if I yeah. should ever tell anybody that, this. That, that's one of those <laughs> things where like they they had casting Why down not? so good. Mm-hmm. They had casting done so good. Yeah, that really movie. was really done. Yeah, well. yeah. Uh, what's it? Susan Sarandon plays the villain. Yeah, she <laughs> and also Idina Menzel is in the movie. Yeah, because briefly, very briefly, that was her first Disney movie. I have no idea. Probably. But uh, Cinderella, Cinderella, uh, I, Nine Day. Uh, it's Cinderella. Yeah, and so if you guys really want to pay money for a live action movie to go see it by all means do it do I think it's worth it eh, I'll, I'd wait for the DVD okay. okay rent it don't go see it <laughs> yeah but anyway, rent it on DVD I mean the only thing that's selling this movie is really little girls and the peop- and the freaking mothers who have seen Frozen and love it I wonder what song Jesus. they're gonna have okay. in Frozen 2 nobody cares <laughs> the Frozen they're just gonna release Let It Go Again the Frozen <laughs> All oh right. my god, they actually put that fucking line in that fucking Frozen Forever. I forgot about that. Right. I think <laughs> it. Oh my god. Right. Yes, it, like literally, she goes, oh, you're sick? She goes, oh, don't worry, the cold never bothered me anyways. And I was like, oh, you son of a... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I know. All right, so here's that, how popular that sequel is gonna suck. <laughs> I did. Okay, so I told you that how I have a job where I dress up as superheroes and go to birthday parties, right? Oh yes, uh, I did, it, I did it the last one podcast. time. I did it one time, <laughs> and uh, the Frozen characters are really freaking popular, especially among white people who can afford, you know, characters to come to the birthday. Well, okay, parties, yeah, so I so. figured that much. And, um, so I had to sit there and listen to a freaking synopsis of the movie. With the songs, because <sighs> it's funny how some people point out in that movie that none of the songs go along with each other. No, yeah. they're they they all feel like they've been written by different and people. I really, really hope that I can get a full on ranger costume after the movie comes I, out I, in twenty sixteen. You know what? I wouldn't put it past. Like I'd, I'd have to see how those suit designs look. I'd have to learn martial arts from. <laughs> From what but I, I'd be fine with that. From what I understand, I think they're changing the design. I just don't want them to change it so much. Yeah, like I like the, what they did with the Green Ranger during the Ryu thing. That hasn't thing happened. Hasn't yet. happened. Yeah. So I thought it was already supposed to be released. It was. Should have been. It was supposed to be released like a month ago. That's what I thought. I thought I just. I just haven't even looked. No, it it's not. It, it hasn't, hasn't been happened. There. I don't know why. Uh, editing problems, maybe. Maybe. Uh, I don't. That's the only so, thing man. that I can let think me, of. Let, hey, look. Yep. Rendering is a fucking bitch, all right? No, I know. All right. Don't act like I don't know. Okay, unless, good. <laughs> unless they're like afraid because of the whole uh, the Mini fan movie. film got That's taken what I down. was thinking. I think uh, that but it's about approved. JDF said that the the Green Ranger Ryu fight with yeah, Bat that's a hundred percent. All the approved. stuff that they do with Bat in the Sun is is about approved. Oh, okay, because JDF wouldn't that. do it otherwise. Oh, yes, yeah. that's, that's pretty good. That's why he didn't do the mini movie. Uh, yeah, and. Um, so since we've pretty so, much talked about trailers and I well, talked, I mean, I, I wanted to bring up one more thing since we talked about the whole Cinderella thing and whatnot. Uh, Dumbo, the oh, yeah, live action right. movie, Dumbo and Beauty and the Beast has a director. You might know him, is Tim Burton. No, why? Yes, no, that's the thing. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> wait, no, why? The hell is he doing this? <laughs> you know why? Because they let him do Alice in Wonderland. It, that's exactly why. <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
Like, I wasn't going to see this movie anyway. With Tim Burton's name on it? No, thank you. I, I'll refer you back to my... No! <laughs> so, so it's official. None of us are probably going to see Dumbo, except for me. I'm probably not going to see no. the live-action Beauty and the I, Beast I, I, film, and I love the stage version. If I, it's the stage version... I will see that movie. Well, of course, if we, we can get Emma Watson to sing Bell's part from the musical, we'll see. I will here's be the thing: the live-action impressed. movies are going to have no musical numbers because Cinderella didn't. There's no musical numbers at all. Is there? There's like two or three songs in Cinderella max, but none of the characters <laughs> sing them, and that's what I'm really getting at. Uh, are they really not going to do the the Beauty and the Beast? They have yeah. to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, sure. they're probably going to release a crappy pop version with Kanye West and Selena Gomez. <laughs> with Iggy Azalea in the background. That might actually happen. <laughs> so, so don't say things like that. Um, don't actually let that happen. That's my idea, copyright Andy. So look, here's the thing, though. They're not going to do the song version. I, I, I'm willing to bet money on that. But I'm willing to bet they'll play instruments and the song of Beauty and the Beast, but well, they won't sing it. Well, I mean, I, I think like uh, they, if they're not going to put it in the movie, they're going to at least put it in the trailer. Yeah, they'll put it in the trailer. How are they... Okay, so the animals don't talk in the live-action Disney movies yep. because... Well, they want it live-action. Right, but why? It's a fairy tale. This is why I say Dumbo can't work. No, it can't work. Um, there are no human... There no, are that's barely literally human like I was watching movie. one of the... Will the Enchanted Houseware talk? I, I no swear. Choice. Okay, if they remake, if they if they make a live action Beauty and the Beast I, I and like, don't have I feel like be they, our guest in there, there are gonna be riots. That's probably true, actually. Because <laughs> they're tight. Look at that could happen no. though. I think it has to. It has to have the talking silver. There's just no option yeah. for that. I think, and Mrs. also, Potts, is she still alive? Because I want that to happen. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Oh man, I'd watch that. Angela Lansbury. Yeah. So I think, I think she is. Will there be any musical number? Probably not. I'm gonna go with yes. I, I, I still, if it's the based, stage version, based, I'll watch the based Beauty and the Beast off, based off movie. Cinderella. I don't think they're. Gonna I will play. watch that trailer just to see. I'll probably give it just because that watch. that is that is my favorite Disney movie. Is that one? Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm, uh, not not Hunchback. Even though I love Hunchback, Hunchback I, I just think that like no Hunchback is my favorite. I don't expect you to have my favorite Disney movie. Okay. I think I think my favorite is still Aladdin. Oh, are they gonna remake that one? Uh, not that I've heard of. I just not I yet. My... Why would they not? Okay, not yet. Give it some time. But you Let's know what? How... They skipped completely over Snow White, so there's that. No, they didn't. Oh, that's right. They made the Kristen Stewart movie. Yes. Oh. Yeah, we got Sleeping Beauty. We got Snow White. We got Cinderella. We're getting Beauty and the Beast, and who knows what's coming. We got Alice in Wonderland. We're probably gonna get Bambi, and that's gonna even piss me off even war- more. That's gonna be so bad. Yes. A movie with absolutely no dialogue. Yep. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing though, because when I watched the the Dumbo like animated movie, I was like, "There's no way that this movie can work in live action unless you know they what? focus you on know, a different." You know what we need? On an actual. We human need a character. live action Robin Hood from Disney. <laughs> See, yeah, that that'll work right up next to the live action Sword in the Stone movie. <gasps> no, <laughs> don't jinx stuff. Don't do that, <laughs> man. So it, okay, I, so I, I, basically, what we're saying is we're completely against the idea of live actioning any of the Disney movies. Stop it! Stop it right now. I actually don't. If think... it's the stage version of Beauty and the Beast, I, it's by all I'm against means. them. It's I'm against them doing them badly. Well, There's I, no good way to do them. Is I, the problem? I'm against them doing them. So, I mean, like I said, Cinderella's not a bad movie, but I mean, I, I when I watched it, I was still smiling. That's as much as I could say. I was. Smiling. You were engaged. Yeah. You didn't hate the movie. Right. Which I get. But I, 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 I've we've... seen movies where I was like, yeah, okay. And I never but see the, the thing that I had. The thing, problem I had with Cinderella is there are so many renditions of it. It's just plain up, just straight up stupid at this point. And I would have preferred, you know, maybe Beauty and the Beast before Cinderella or something like that. And this this followed uh, Into the Woods, which also had the Cinderella story in it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Was it Anna Kendrick who played yes, Cinderella? Yes. That, I, I've not hey, seen Pitch that movie. Perfect too. Hey, I'm gonna punch you right in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, you don't like the movie? I don't care for it. Coleman's uh, in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, sh- I kid you not. We were all at Lexi's house one day. Okay. And she was like, she was like, Coleman's in this movie. And I'm like, well, yeah, whatever. She goes, no, 
he's in this movie. And I like, she gets to the part and she pauses it, and I'm like, oh my god, it's Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, a guy who. Literally I've seen that movie like one time. I thought, <laughs> all right, I okay, Pitch Perfect. That's the one with Fat Amy. Yes. yes. Okay, that. That alone should tell you how worthy the movie is of being called a movie. Um, it's Glee. It's Glee. It's Glee. It's Glee, and it's terrible. It's not as bad as Glee, I'll say. All right, but okay. Okay, that's a good you argument. You and I, what did we watch? The first season? We watched the first episode of Glee. Oh, and that was oh. it, right? And then you were like, oh, and then, actually because you wanted to put me through that, and, yeah. and that that was a terrible Because I never made it past the first episode for Glee. I, watched, I definitely watched the first season. Okay. And here's why. I didn't want to hate on it um, unless I knew what it was. <laughs> and now I know. It's kind of like the way I feel about the Bible. So, well, so I that's exactly that, so that's like exactly how I feel about Digimon Frontier when we were watching that. Yeah. Because like when we were watching it, I'm like, you know what? Maybe they'll do something cool with it. Maybe, maybe. And then we get to the end. I'm like, man, this sucked. That was terrible. transition off of Digimon though. Did you hear the original cast is coming back to voice all their characters? Yay! What? Yeah. We talked about this a couple weeks ago that that might happen. I yeah. am actually super stoked. Yeah. Uh, like uh, that, that's not even just the J- Japanese actors. We're talking about. All the uh, almost all the original act- American actors are going to be Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's going to kind of throw me off if they do change like one person. Yeah, it's going to be like. I guess. Okay, so is TK going to have a different voice? I guess. I don't think so. I, I think <laughs> they're going to keep the same one that they used. I think Sorry. they. I think they're going to keep the same one that they used for O two. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, weird. but they like released the they released the se- register. What? They just released. I feel like at some point your voice drops a register, unless you're you know a personality. Well, I, I'm just saying, like, because uh, Matt and uh, Ty's voice didn't change, and they're they're and the the time jump is supposed to it be... it changed pretty drastically. Not really <laughs> for Ty's voice, at least. I don't think so. I disagree with you. Okay, I'll have to. Watch and you know that. what? You're the poker boy, so. <laughs> Yeah, and they just you. <laughs> yeah, and they just released a new poster with the new announcement. Also. Oh, okay. So I don't look at movie posters. All of a sudden, it's like, look at the movie poster. It's, it's an not, anime poster. Shut the a, hell up. <laughs> yeah, there's a fucking difference. God damn it. Um, yeah. And as we work towards one solution, I am going to do that. By the way, <laughs> I've decided that I'm going to take that theme and try to match it up with the uh, Dino Charge opening. And see if it actually fits. Man, that, You're going to try to make it fit as perfect as possible. Videos. Oh, my glob. Yep. It's pretty badass, isn't that it? That is that is super cool. Yeah. Uh, Why for, does Mimi look like that? Oh, uh, they changed the, the, the original is guy that, who did... Whoa. The, this the, is halfway between 01 and 02. No, this is uh, after... Uh, this it's is straight after, up Directly after, after, after 02. After 02. They've already announced it. Oh, dude. Yeah, Where's everybody else? Uh, no one... Uh, no word on Davis... Yoli, uh, Yoli or, or Cody. Cody. At the very least, Derek Stephen Prince is coming back. But they said these guys... Yeah, where's Ken? Uh, no word on Ken either. I swear to God. All right. Uh, All right. Okay, room, sorry. Uh, back but, to um, the story. But Ooh. for people who did, doesn't can't see this right now, if you uh, go look up the Digimon new uh, Digimon Try, the new poster, it's uh, them in front of the trolley. And it's like aged over the years and... It's all covered lines. in moss and yeah. vines and stuff. It's super cool and kind of depressing at the same time. <laughs> yeah. How long has it been? Fucking 15 years? Yes. God. Because uh, this is how you know it's like after 2 and 3 because you see the uniforms that TK and Kari are wearing. Those oh, are the uniforms yeah, wearing. yeah. Those are the high school uniforms. <laughs> mm-hmm. I guess those are university uniforms? Yep. Uh, I, I, don't look at me like that. We know what we're talking about, okay? Okay. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> God. You go play with your squirtle. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> she was Charmander. Oh, okay. And also Bulbasaur is my bouncer. <laughs> Bulbasaur is a badass. Okay. <laughs> Bulbasaur is my bouncer. Bouncer sore. Uh, Bulba Fett is amazing. Bulba Fett is one of my favorite. Oh, uh, uh, before I forget... Uh, there's some news in video games. Video game news? Yes! I love video games. Okay, good. I played the Minecraft. <laughs> so, there's, a, <laughs> there's an there's official trailer release for Mortal Kombat X about uh, the story. I oh. didn't watch it because oh. I'm going to play that game. Is it... Wait. 
It's literally it, it's about it, jo- Johnny Cage. Yeah, Cassie Sonya, Cage. And Sonya Blade, and they're apparently they were their ex husband and wife, and they had a daughter. Yep. Mm-hmm. Her and, name's Cassie, and she's in the special forces. Yep. And I don't know the rest. I don't know anything else past that because I didn't see the trailer. Yeah, apparently Melina is, like, taking over and trying to become, like, the new Underworld. Shao Kahn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, She's raising her own army and everything. That could work. I don't that see could it work, working but that what, well. There was, there was one character who I think could have pulled it off better if you needed to do a female character. Um, the Vampiris from... Sindel? No, the Vampiris. Well, she's in there. She's still alive, the Vampiris? Too. Yeah. The, the female vampire, you call them a Vampiris. They, uh, from... I want to say it's from uh, Deadly Alliance. No, I don't think it's from Deadly Alliance. Okay, look up the roster for Deadly Alliance, because I have to prove this guy wrong. But uh, back to Mortal Kombat. You know what, Nick? Nobody cares what you think. (laughs) You know what? I might as well go home. You got a a face only a mother could have (laughs) worn. You should know Digimon. You should know Digimon. See, okay, first of all... I know Digimon. Secondly, it's been forever since I've seen that show, and I've also watched a hundred different shows between that point. God. Including you... Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. The first season. The STD. And, uh... Back yeah. to Mortal Kombat X. <laughs> Mortal Kombat X. I'm pretty sure it was... Natara. That one. Natara? Natara. Look it up. Look. Uh, get an image. We need an image. Uh, but continue you, your story with Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat X uh, has some really cool ideas. It's supposed to be set in the future for Mortal Kombat 9, which I think makes no sense because they've introduced Kitana and Kung Lao, who, if my if memory serves, they died in the last story. Again, everybody died except for Johnny Cage and Sonya. And Raiden. But see, the thing the problem the problem with the trailer is Goro still lives, as they keep posting at the end of every really? trailer. Really? Okay. And uh, Sindel's still around. So Goro, really? He survived. Yeah. Oh, like, Goro and Kintaro both. Yeah. Oh no, did did Kintaro? I don't, I don't remember. actually remember. But I know. So yeah, who knows how this story's taking off? So we'll see. Hmm. It was from Deadly Alliance. You. It's been like ten years. And since yet I played you that game. still felt it necessary to argue with me. Oh yeah. Although I, I can't wait for the game. I'm gonna take a phone call. This message is brought to you by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. Oh God, you actually got remember? It's <laughs> it's not prostitution <laughs> if she's an actress. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Keep that part in, but take out the Mormon part. Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. No, that message was brought to you by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day. Hail Satan! Oh God. Okay. Um, you know, I like how you have asking. her on your phone as lady. What the hell? Oh, all of my, f- <laughs> all of the characters on my phone are characters from Adventure Time. That's true. <laughs> Guess Wait, which one I, I am. Which one he is? Uh, who? He's Gunter. <laughs> this is Gunter. So wait, what am I? <laughs> you are not in there. Good. You're not on the list. Thank God. <laughs> you could put him on the list. I will put you on the list. You can be Neil. <laughs> you don't want to make him the squirrel? Oh, uh, what or is Rocco? the squirrels even? Rocco? Rocco, yeah. R- Rocco? Yeah. Rocco. That's... Rocco's Marvel than sooner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Why you... won't you love me? <laughs> that guy? <laughs> No, you can be, you can be the train. Okay. <laughs> the train. Yeah. The train is gonna smack you down on his tracks. Choo choo. <laughs> choo choo. And the second part of gaming news today: there is a new trailer for this game that's officially being released worldwide, and it's called uh, J Star versus something like that. J Star. It is li- literally nothing but anime characters. All go in a fighting game. Oh my god. Like Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, so that Goku. Means that, that fan stuff can just happen? Yeah. That's awesome. It, it's finally There's happened. There's War Greymon in Dude, the fighting game. No Is Aaron in there? Uh, Aaron who? Which Aaron one? Yeager. Aaron Yeager. Is he in there? He's gotta be in there. Come on. 
Oh no, Aaron Yeager's not in there. Damn it, Aaron. No, Vod- is Mika's not in, in there. No, none of the attack- Damn it. No Attack on Titan characters in there. Fuck you. They're too then. brand new. Fuck yeah. you, game. You lied to me. You said all the anime characters were in there. I said almost. You lied to me. I said almost. You lied to me. Damn it. You Cash lied and to Sins me. in there? Huh? I think that would be awesome. Is Cassius Clay in there? Casher and Sins. Uh, I think he is. Casher and would be awesome. Is Cassius Clay in there? I know. Toriko's in there. Uh, Yu Yu hmm. Hakusho. Hmm. Um, Cassius Clay. There's like 57 characters. Okay, cool. Uh, 57. I will have the to most, check it the out. The most is uh, One Piece. One Piece got, like, the most characters well, in the yeah. game, which was pretty hilarious. Is Pikachu in there? No. Well, because Pikachu's in Smash Brothers. He's an anime character. Yeah. He's not in there. God, Emilio, you just, you're so disappointing. Listen, you don't watch anime, so I don't expect <laughs> you to understand. Is <laughs> this one the... in there? Sorry? Zulongmon. No, Digimon is in there. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'd love Sad. to see a Digimon character in there too. You know what? I don't. I'm not. That's a game I'm Actually, not looking forward to. You know what? Never to. mind. Can forget it. Forget Mon. Black War Greymon needs to be. I already asked. Game. You failed. Look, um, we're already getting a Digimon fighting game anyway. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with that. You cannot. Uh, no. What? No. What? No. What? No. What's wrong with it? Absolutely not. Why? You know why? Why? You know why? Why? I'm not comfortable watching Gabumon and Agumon kick the shit out of each other. That's why. They're bros. They did They've it been in the through so su- You know what? They we, they got through it. It's <laughs> that's in the they past. Got through it. That's in the past. Hey, look, you can have season 5 <laughs> Agumon first, the original Agumon. I've not seen season 5 Agumon. Me neither. I didn't watch what is it, Fusion? Data Squad. Data Squad. That is one of the best. Is it? Yes. Yeah. It's. It, is it the next one? No. The, yeah. yeah it's the next between one. The next between one Fr- between Frontier and yeah, Fusion. it's one of the best. I'd I'd watch it. All right, we'll give it a watch. Probably a lot better than Frontier. But I, oh, yeah. we're we're already okay. No, so hold on. we'll give Before it a watch. Before we go, there's one more trailer that I forgot that we for that I forgot to bring up. Hotel Transylvania Two is a thing. I see? did hear about that. Yeah. I I, I didn't see the first that. one, so I have no opinion other than Adam Sandler. Stop. You're fine. <laughs> We have a collection of Adam Sandler movies that we can. Have you, you seen know, his recent trailer for his new movie? Uh, uh, like it's like Chopped or something like that or something. No, like that. I didn't see that. Like he puts on these shoes and Chopped he's like an another. He's another person. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't see the trailer, but I heard about that. But yeah, he's got that and Hotel Transylvania two thing where I, uh, where he has a grandson now. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, that's that's what Hotel Transylvania two is about. God no! It happened. That's perfect. Like like the trailer is literally him throwing out this huge freaking. Pile you know what we need? Trying to get him to fly. That's so like sequely. You know what we need for Hotel Transylvania? <laughs> we need Simon Belmont. <laughs> That's what we need. Never get out. Be Simon Belmont is here anyway. to destroy evil monsters. And signing off here tonight. Actually, <laughs> from the Power Chamber podcast is uh, the Ice Chip saying, "Stay cool." I'm Andy. Uh, this is my show now. <laughs> All right, so closing anyway, up here. Yeah. All right. If you guys yeah. need anything with me this week, I shall be posting a video for uh, VidCon to actually try to get on the um, the small creator panel. The cuckoo cuckoo. Yeah, it's that. And so uh, Can I'll I have be your uploading. Ticket if that happens. Uh, yes. Cool. Uh, so I'll be going, trying to go up for that. Uh, I think Nick will be hopefully trying to do so yes, as well. I will as so well. we'll be submitting our videos here this weekend. Uh, Top Ten Anime. It's actually almost done. I actually almost got that finished. Cool. Uh, man, thank God. And what are you? And so. Oh, and I guess plug your your channel. Yeah. Hold on. You Hold wait. On. No. You wait. You had your chance. He's not done plugging. <laughs> you. I'm plugging. He's got. He's got to keep on the plugging. Oh man. Uh, there's so still, there's still holes that need to be plugged. Milo Mon. So if you need if you need me, you can go to uh, you can find me on Twitter at at my friends I hate. Uh, you could also find me at you on YouTube at my friends I hate all one word. I make reviews, uh, skits, and on the occasion I talk about what you guys should be watching in movies, TV, and anime. Sometimes he makes pancakes. And that too. Uh, I am uh, Nick, aka Iron Man 1993. You can find me on Twitter at 1993. I strongly recommend that you guys follow me because I usually just write down notes of things that I'm just thinking as I watch things. Like I think you can watch, look at all my notes for Pokemon that's on there. 
Uh, I haven't used it in quite a while, so I might end up doing that anyway. A lot also... of a lot of his passing thoughts just happen to be peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Don't just skip past those ones. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm not judging. I'm saying I'm putting a disclaimer. Okay. Peanut butter and banana sandwich. Okay. And, and uh, you can uh, find me on YouTube. Dot uh, com slash ironbed nineteen ninety three. You can watch my latest review for the terrible episode five of D- Power Rangers Dino Charge. Man, we just we definitely stayed on that for a long time. I knew where we were gonna. And when bad episodes hit, it's it's a lot. You could talk a lot of stuff, bad stuff about it. I yeah. agree. And now, creepy dramatic music as composed by Nick. <laughs> Featuring Emilio. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'll see you mons next time. May the power protect you. It's not prostitution if she's an actress. <laughs> <laughs>